Hey folks, Eric Wooldridge here with the Additive Guru Channel, and this is your 3D printing news brief. University of Maine has a really exciting bit of news lately. They have received a Guinness World Book of Records for 3D printing a 25-foot boat. Really, really exciting stuff in the fact that you can actually see this on the time lapse where they have it uh, actually in the printing process. Uh, a runabout would be equivalent of it, roughly around 5,000 pounds floating on their test, uh, test pool right in their labs. Now this printer, this demonstration is not uh, the first of its kind. We've seen Oak Ridge National Laboratories demonstrate the submersible concept of printing a boat, or submersible in about six days, but this is actually in partnership with Oak Ridge and also uh, MIT in terms of funding and applications. UMaine actually has a composite center where they're using additive to combine this, this, this movement to using uh, biomaterials and bio-based polymers in the creation of brand new products. What's also really exciting is the size of this printer. This thing can do really, really wide. I think roughly around 22 feet uh, in width, maybe somewhere in the uh, near 100 feet in length in terms of capacity. And that's really, really awesome and amazing considering what they would produce. So we definitely recommend checking out, and watching the video, seeing this thing float on the water with people in it, and also checking out just watching it in time lapse and in its creation. This opens the door to a whole lot of applications. When you consider the fact that Maine is covered with uh, a t lots and lots of trees, they can be turned into potential bioplastics and polymers, and the applications of such polymers used in real industrial applications is pretty exciting for many. So part of the story here is, yeah, it's a boat, it's cool, and they won a world record, but the other thing is that it is opening the door for potential use of more organic polymers for use in industrial applications. So make sure to check out that video, check out other videos that we have on our channel, and uh, get excited. This, this is a definitely a revolutionary application, and we're just seeing the beginning. Another couple of things, as they mentioned in the article, is the fact they've also demonstrated some use of it for printing some army shelters, and also some other structures to go along with bridge work and that kind of thing. So this, this type of format, this large, large uh, additive manufacturing format systems, are really going to start to change the way that we look at producing products, especially larger objects. So thanks for watching, check out the other stuff, and we'll see you.